In this video, I will show you how to create a particle logo animation, using Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. Download, and open the Illustrator file. It contains the Spotify logo. Select all layers and export them into After Effects. Here, I'm using a plugin called Overload to export them. If you do not have this plugin, simply drag and drop the Illustrator file into After Effects. These are my composition settings, you can adjust it into the same setting, if you have a different one. I will lock the background layer. So it will be easier to manage layers. Select the logo. Right click, and pre compose that layer. You can give it any name. Again, right click and pre compose that layer. Later we will add a mask, so that's why we have to pre compose it twice. I will name it as Particles Effect. Go to the Particles Effect composition. Let's add a mask to my logo composition. So select the composition. Pick the rectangle tool, and create a mask like this. Get the timeline to starting position, open mask path, and create a keyframe. Move the timeline 4 seconds forward, drag and move the mask to the opposite side. It will automatically create a new keyframe. Now go back to the previous composition, click this icon, and enable the 3D layer option. Then hide this composition. Let's create a new solid layer. I will name it as, Particles. Go to Effects and Presets, and search for the effect, Particular. Drag and drop that effect, into the solid layer. We need to change several settings to get the exact particle effect. First, open the emitter settings. Change the particles per second value to 600,000. Change emitter type to box. Then, Change each emitter size XYZ values to 0. Again, change the emitter type to layer. Velocity, 150. Velocity random, 50. Velocity distribution, 1. Velocity from motion, 90%. Open layer emitter settings. Change layer to particles effect. Now open particle settings. Change life per second to 1.5, life random, 100%. Particle type to cloudlet. Cloudlet feather, 0. Size random, 100%. Change the size over life graph, to second 1. Opacity random, 15%. Opacity over life, last graph. Now move to the shading setting, turn on both, shadow lit settings. Go to shadow lit settings. Opacity, 3. Adjust size, 130. Now go to physics. Air. Change the wind y value to minus 100. Open turbulence field. Effect position, 150. Fade in time, 0.1. Complexity, 1. Open rendering settings. And turn on motion blur. Let's check the animation. The animation seems perfect. Again, select particles layer. Go to effect and presets. Search for the effect sharpen. Drag, and add it to the particles layer. Change the sharpen amount to 100. Open project window. Drag and drop the My Logo composition into the timeline. Make sure to place it at the bottom. Search for the effect linear wipe. Then add it to the My Logo composition. Change wipe angle to 270 degrees. Set transition completion value to 100. Make sure you are in the starting position. Then create a keyframe. Move the timeline 4 seconds forward. Then change the transition completion value to 0. It will automatically create a new keyframe. Also change the feather value to 25. Check the final animation, and now we are done.
you can use this as a template. So the only thing you need to do is go to my logo composition, and change the logo. Then you can have the same particle effect as the previous.